clearance and lineage you require before entering. You do not appear to belong here. Clearance and lineage required. Hermod, on behalf of the Azir, with a directive from Odin, high upon the orbital string, I seek entrance. We of the World Tree shall not interfere. The way is open. The Aesir have come. They have broken the Pact of the Fallen. Withdraw. We have what we need. Deep neural scan. Retrieve. Verify. Analyze. Cross-reference. Why? This will be war. Hear me, all ye hallowed beings, both high and low, of Heimdall's children. Thou will, all father, that I well set forth the fates of the world, as first I recall. Another body from the channel, ripped to shreds. I don't know what the hell could do such a thing. The Aesir don't protect us like they used to. They lounge around in their palaces while our asses hang in the wind. I'm sick of their worthless talk. But our time will come. Just you watch. serving him. He could be the one doing all the killing around here. Well, stranger, what's your excuse? Hey, I'm talking to you, damn it!
Please, uh, my lord. We, we don't want to... <laughs> East of the wall and counting, Alpha Wolf. Steady and heading 207, pilot. Yes, sir. We have a reading, sir. A large structure. That's our target. Set deployment for two miles out. We are almost in range, Lord Balder. Stow it, trooper. Yes, sir. We're past the wall, boys. We might actually run into something uglier than a berserker. Don't count on it, Wolf. Monsters tell stories of me to frighten their children.
Something wrong with your harness, trooper? Uh, no, sir. Sir? What is it? You ever been out this far? <laughs> Humans this far beyond the wall generally don't come back. It's a good day to die. You always say that. It always is. Let's go, wolves! Move! Move! Lord Balder, Lord Heimdall has requested your presence within his hall. I'll inform him that you're on your way. Welcome home. How are you feeling, brother? I would feel better if we had caught the beast. Any trace on the arm? It is definitely of machine origin, but of a design and composition that is totally new. You said it consumed one of the bar's patrons? Yes. It bit a man's head off and appeared to drink blood from his neck. Why would a machine do that? For nourishment, perhaps? Maybe it's part organic with synthetic components. Without the whole specimen, anything is but a guess. I will take an expeditionary force to secure one. There will be no expedition, Balder. Our attention needs to be elsewhere. Hell has dissolved the Pact of the Fallen. Sending task forces on unimportant quests. We are humanity's protectors. We cannot sit idly by as they are eaten by this monster. Very well. A small expeditionary force shall be put at your disposal. Very well. A small expeditionary force shall be put at your disposal. Ah, Sister Freya. Welcome home, Balder. You've been greatly missed. Balder has captured an artifact belonging to the enemy. I was thinking that perhaps the Norns could aid us, if you could take him to them. Of course. I doubt there will be a problem. We can go now if it's important. Balder seems to think so. I will leave you in Freya's capable hands. It's good to have you back. For a while, many of us thought that you were truly lost. But a few of us had faith. And you were one of them? I'm used to waiting for you. Freya. If I had not already made my vows to Niana. What's been and gone is done. But perhaps we could start anew. If you need someone, I'll be here for you. I will keep that in mind. Come on, we don't want to keep the Norns waiting. Look into the pool. Concentrate on the surface. You will feel a small tingling as you do. Don't worry about it. It's just the handshaking protocols kicking in. Just relax and watch. 
The Norns welcome you, Adept Freya. Long has it been since you've brought another. And this must be Baldur. Mm, we definitely need to spend more time together. He is still recovering, wise ones. Do you not speak, beautiful? Are you gifted only with looks and not with a tongue? Or is it that this witch holds some spell over you? I am gifted with a great many things, wench. Oh my, he has a fiery heart. What business brings you to our sunny realm? We seek information. Baldur hunts a beast. It appears resistant to most of our weapons. It is unlike the machines we have fought before. It hunts humans for food. We can assist you in your quest for knowledge. Take this. It is a blueprint module for something that may prove useful in your quest. Among other things, it will allow you entrance into our world. You will be able to visit us whenever you like. Alone. Thank you. Your generosity is unmatched. It shall not go to waste. Your apprentice speaks out of turn, Freya. Perhaps he has more than just a touch of the weird. The weird? It is their way of divining the future. Your weird shines like a beacon to us. Though in truth, all living things share the same fate. Beauty. When an organism's purpose, no matter how trivial, is in harmony with the rest of creation. And then the great wheel turns, and all creatures are swept along towards their inevitable deaths. Beauty, and then death. That is the universal weird of the living. It is only in the moment between beauty and death that individual weirds differ by the choices they make. The future is open to us, Balder. If the future is visible to you, will I defeat this beast? This Grendel? <laughs> you must discover that for yourself. <laughs> ah, here he is. We can begin. Brothers, sisters! Let us feast to the return of an old friend. And to the untimely passing of one of our enemies. To Balder! To Balder! So, Balder, I heard you were tired of your bed sores and went in search of monsters to end your boredom. Is it true? It is very true. Thank Odin that I didn't die in a bed stuck full of tubes. Balder! Once more among his kin. Here we go. To fight the fight we cannot win. However, be that as it may. Drink up, young man. Together, the fight the must have left will have hearts. their way. Fight! Balder defeated a monstrous scourge in the territories beyond the wall. Monstrous scourge? Yeah, tis but child's play. Why, the test of a true warrior is to face the giants of Jotunheim. How can young Balder prove himself fighting an adversary even a woman could best? He's just stretching his legs. He needs time to recover. Huh. Did I need time to rest after getting these? He barges into the room like thunder. Our sister oh, is correct. Thunder. While we can repair the body, the, the spirit itself thunder. needs far longer to recover. The lingering stench of dead giants. The stench of dead giants! <laughs> well done! Is it still usable? It's an excellent specimen. Marginal damage to the mucous membranes. Soft tissue, eyes. Can it be used? Retire <laughs> <laughs> uh, to your health, brother. Aye, brother. By putting this Grendel to the sword, our knowledge of the machine's forces grows that much deeper. <laughs> I will sleep better knowing that. And Balder only took a day, whereas Thor takes week-long sojourns for his missions. What do you do out there, sightseeing? The Norns have taken great interest in Baldur's return. I'm curious to see why. <laughs> Norns? You took Baldur to the World Tree? Oh, I'll be getting him to wear a dress next time. <laughs> are you jealous, Thor? Why are you goggling at the whore of the gods when you could be sparring with me? 
She's been with every man in this hall. Gods and mortals both. Everyone? I. But I've not been with you, Thor. As if you would know what to do anyway. The shrine is at your disposal, brother. Come visit again whenever you like. Ha! All this talk of cyberspace and spirits. Superstition, I say! Tis woman's work, Balder. Leave it to them. <sighs> Woden's beard, I love her. As a brother might, I mean. <laughs> Enough of women. Let's talk of battle! After all, that's our real reason to exist, isn't it? Wake him. Visit. No hammer. Oh, I would not have it in so quickly, Loki. <laughs> Thor, release him. Wait for me outside. Good boy. Do as your master bids you. Thor, leave us. He would have killed me. I've waited a long time for this chance. I will not have it taken from me by Thor's zealous hand. So this is a social call. Within the week, you will be tried for treason by Council of the Aesir. Will all my jurors be as objective as you two? Justice will be served. You have my oath on that. Of that, my friend, I have many doubts. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I could have finished it. He is Aesir Thor, and he has taken the life of another god. An unprecedented crime. But we must have justice. And Hode? What of his trial? Hode has condemned himself. His escape is his confession. And we must carry out his sentence. Beautiful, is it not? Your world as it once was. This is what the Aesir wish for? It is our mission to restore the world to its former beauty. It is the Norns' wish also. However, we both know that we want more than just that. There are those who seek change and will do anything to affect it. They disrupt the natural order of things. Ah! Oh. You've seen it too. Long ago, the sacrifices that some have made. More riddles. Ah, oh, you do not remember. Let me remind you. The Aesir are the warm breezes that melt the ice. We are the wolf. As God shall free the world from cold stagnation. We are the bear. With a runic vision, a single purpose becomes clear. We are the Aesir. By our hand, humanity shall be saved. Come forth, Loki. Your contribution and sacrifice will exceed all who have gone before.
There is much to consider. As you can see, change can bring unforeseen consequence. Sometimes even great sacrifice is forgotten. We remember only that which is significant. <sighs> Your memories are fleeting. The old world is long gone, Balder. And part of you died with it. You think I live in the past? No, but I think you haven't learned from it. You must now adapt to a new world, but you should never forget what has gone before. Heed these words. Are you all right? I was just reminded of something. It's nothing. It's Niane, isn't it? Things just aren't the same without her. I miss her. I know. She was a part of us both. I was told she didn't suffer. There's something you're not telling me, isn't there? Isn't there? I can't. I... Balder, the past needs to be forgotten. So you, we, can move on. We? There is no we if you won't be honest with me. What exactly happened to my wife? You need to talk to Heimdall about this. What secrets have you withheld from me about Niana? I have been forthcoming, as always. I understand your anxiety, but... Liar! Please, do not associate me with such crude notions. Brother, I am above lies. Then why won't Freya tell me what happened to her? Freya is very protective of you. She doesn't want to hurt you. None of us do. What really happened? Her death was no accident. Hode is responsible for your wife's death. Hode. But why? Hode is in league with our enemies now. And you didn't tell me? We could not risk further endangering you. How well could you have recovered from your own injuries knowing of this treachery? Is this the truth? Please, Balder, understand my position here. What do I gain by lying to you? By Odin, I will kill him. I will hack my revenge out of his flesh. The situation is well in hand, brother. Hode took flight to the ice forest of Swartalfheim, where he appears to be siding with the machines. Tyr will be leading a mission to locate and eliminate this renegade. No, he will not. I will lead that mission. Your head is clouded with emotion. Tyr is a master strategist and tactician. He is perfect for this mission. This is a personal matter. I will see it to its bloody glory or its ruin. No one will stand in my way. I cannot allow you to undertake this mission, Balder. I said no one will stand in my way. You're on your own, then. But one thing, Balder. When Hode is dead, see to it that his cybernetics are destroyed. If those should fall into the wrong hands... When I'm done with Hode, there will be nothing left. IFF Transponder says it's an Overlord class. An az -er must be on board. Serious business. Get the lads together. We're moving out. Men of Midgard, we are on a vital mission to uphold justice. We will be venturing into the heart of the ice forests. Remnants of a glacier that has cut deep into the mountains. 
Due to intense cloud cover and electrical activity in the area, our readings are unreliable at best. But we are certain that there is significant red-eye activity there. Each of you will find plenty of opportunities to show your medal to Odin. For he watches over each and every one of you. Gonna be a rough trip. Our target is a rogue Aesir operative named Hode. My lord, he is Aesir. Will we be taking him alive? He is a traitor. A murderer. Today, a god will die. Approaching the drop zone, Lord Balder. supposed to hunt down one of the Azir? My brothers and I are content as long as there are enemies to kill. Aren't you happy idiots? A puny wolf should not speak to a bear that way, lest they wish to be eaten. The strength of a wolf is in its pack, Esbern. You challenge one, you better be willing to take them all on. Wolf Squad Alpha, assemble on the snow deck. Shoot at anything and everything that moves. <laughs> Shot. Come no closer. You know that if I had meant to hit you, you would be dead by now. Get your men outside. This is the business of the Aesir, and not for human eyes. He's all yours. Hode, come and face your fate. I will take my vengeance upon thy head. Your vengeance? What have I done to bring your vengeance upon me? You murdered my wife in cold blood. A wife? No, never killed a wife in cold blood nor hot passion. You are mistaken. Loki? Loki? I am not Loki. I am Balder, son of Odin. But you're dead. I killed you. You killed my wife, Nyana, an innocent. And for that, I stand here today, your executioner. I remember when I killed you, Loki. When the explosion rocked the halls of Asgard. <laughs> a humanitarian, Hode. When will you realize that they don't need our help? 
Evolution dictates that they die. We are their protectors. <laughs> Says who? Odin? You? Why have you wrought this chaos? The Aesir have grown weak. We dote upon these humans. Why should we serve them? But we have the power to remake the world. It is time for a change, Hold. You're mad. Visionaries are often confused with the mad. I had expected the battle to last longer. It was I who achieved what every other Aesir wanted, but never could. I killed you, Loki. I put a bullet in your head. And I will put a bullet in yours. I see through your lies, Loki. And if I can kill you once, I can kill you again. Treachery, Hode. Ladies of the Weird, I have one small request. What do you ask of us? I have an eye implant in my possession. I need to analyze the data stored upon it. His weird unfolds more quickly than we anticipated. Then this validates our hypothesis, our predictions. He is special. Or could it be that you like this young man's skull? It is true. I am drawn to his naivete. Innocence is a rather attractive trait in a man. There are several signals encoded into the memory of the implant. One overriding the other. It would have been akin to sleight of hand. One hand drawing attention while the other did its work. Whatever the other signal is, the owner of this implant could not perceive both, and would have followed the most vivid stream. This man lived inside a false reality, as we do now. So, Hode saw something that no one else did. Is it possible to decrypt the underlying signal, the true reality? Of course. The means to decrypt the signal lie strewn amongst our world, hidden amid stored data. Each blueprint will allow your engineers to manufacture a different component. Apart, the components will be unrecognizable. Once the module is assembled, what this man saw will be yours to see. But you should be aware that sometimes reality is not always welcomed. All these visitors. Usually it is only Odin who visits this forsaken cripple. This is not a social call, Mimir. You requested my presence and I responded. Why do you beckon so? I appear to have found information pertaining to a Devastator-class war machine 
codenamed Jormungand. Jormungand, the world serpent. Is that possible? No. They were all destroyed long ago. Not all of them. At least one survives, as far as these records show. The Emir must have encrypted its location to hide it. The strategic value of something like Jormungand should not be underestimated. We can build our own, vastly superior to Jormungand. You would not be able to reproduce such a weapon today. Its alloy skin alone lies far beyond the capabilities of our science. But if we can reclaim this Jormungand, perhaps I might learn from it. It could shift the balance of power in our favor. Perhaps we could even assault Jotunheim itself. <laughs> Madness! Where is it? The ice banks of a year's jaw. These records indicate that it is dormant. Buried under a lot of snow, probably. Very well. Thor and Balder will locate the World Serpent and board it. Mimir, you will accompany them and unlock its secrets. What? I'm not going anywhere. I'm not a mission operative. Not after the last time. Are you saying that you don't have faith in our skills, brother? No, no, of course not. But then the last time you went out on a mission, you didn't get hacked limb from limb, did you? Did you? <clears throat> a shame your mouth survived or your legs did not. This isn't the kind of advisory capacity I had in mind. Be quiet. You can hear me in this? Indeed. I am the only one cursed so. Boulder, it is your turn to carry this burden. The storm is impenetrable. It is no wonder the serpent has lain hidden for so long. Aye, and perhaps some things weren't meant to be found. There be monsters here. Mimir, locate the access portals. Very well. Are you sure this is a way in? There's no way to open it. The schematics I have decrypted are very detailed. I have... <laughs> Sons of Loki, your master calls upon you. In these dark times, your help is needed.
Lord Loki can't open this door through cyberspace. It's a manual release. Get it open! Your sacrifice will bring about the twilight of the gods and a new age. I trust you have brought my weapon and armor as you commanded, my lord. <laughs> I think I need to stretch my legs. Our troops are securing the shuttle bays. Let us make haste, then. You have done well, brothers. You shall not be forgotten. Die well, and make the Aesir remember this day. have been tried and convicted of treason against the Aesir. For a mortal man, there can be only one sentence. What do you think about dying? I am well with it. For when I die here at your hand, the example I set will not be the one you intend. Are you well with your death, traitor? I am well with it, as all of us are. I shall not be slaughtered. Loki is now our most dangerous enemy. It is reasonable to assume he has fled to Helheim to take refuge with his daughter. Aye, if Hel gives refuge to Loki, then surely she is our enemy. Has Hel shown us any hostility? No. We are the aggressors in this. She Loki just is our most We cannot afford to fight a war on two fronts. We are barely holding our own on one! Why sit idly by while she amasses her forces? War must be taken to them both, and delivered in heaps. Justice War must be this insult I shall not let tolerated. Loki make a mockery of us! Have my children lowered themselves to petty bickering? Loki must be found and punished, along with all those who side with him. There are many omens that portend a bloody war. Brothers will be drenched with their brother's blood. I will not shed a tear for those who stand against us. We are the warm breezes that melt the ice. We shall free the world from cold stagnation. We have a vision. A single purpose. And by our hand, humanity shall live. We are the Azir. The All-Father has spoken, and our path made abundantly clear. Steal yourselves, as war is upon us once again. How long do you think? 
Before what? Before they turn on us, the humans. Never. Bragi does his job well. We have protected them so long that they only know us as their protectors, lords, and masters. They cannot turn against us. They don't know how. Every day their world diminishes, and we are unable to bring it back. They cannot be completely unaware of what is lost. So little is left. But what is left is important, Frey. Without us, humans have no purpose. We define them. But how long before they realize that there is no hope? How long before they realize that we cannot restore what they have lost? Hope? With a leader like Odin, there is always hope, brother. You'd do well to remember that. I remember those men we just killed. How they faced death at the hands of their protectors with a warrior's resolve. And how we slaughtered them. We lost their respect in that hall. It is a sad day when you lament, Frey, and I'll hear no more of it. A man without hope is one thing. A god without it is unthinkable. Perhaps you doubt my courage, as Thor does. I do not, Frey. But I do question your faith in yourself, as one of us. The end is coming, Heimdall. Then let it come. We shall meet it with weapons in hand and joy in our hearts. Our lives belong to Odin. And so it is with a solemn heart that I must urge the Aesir to war. An assault on Helheim is no small task, brethren. The stakes in this game are not to be taken lightly. Farewell, daughter. May we meet again in some later life. After this world is turned to rubble, and the green we miss so much takes hold. Every lost soul that has passed between these walls will be thrown upon my pyre, Father. I honor the fallen, and they will fight for us once more. sends her guardian to meet us. You won't be the first dog I've muzzled. Flank the beast, men! Surround it and bring it down! Creature of the underworld, bring Loki forth or suffer my wrath. Balder, welcome back. Back? I have never visited your realm of ghosts and shadow until now, bitch. Where is Loki? Long gone. And you are mistaken, for I have entertained you in these halls before, as I will tonight. Come, we have much to discuss. The human body is a remarkable system, able to repair over time and adapt to a wide variety of circumstances. Observe. 
This specimen has received a bullet wound to the head, yet still it functions, albeit in a rudimentary way. You see, Balder, the system denies death, each part of the brain adapting and relearning to cope with its diminished capacity. This ability of the human brain is known as graceful degradation. This wound will prove too much for it. Death will soon follow. Humanity's future is limited by its inability to react to these extremes. My entire life I have searched for the answer, as my own body was consumed by disease. And I know how to do it. Just think. True immortality, Balder. Not the quackery the Aesir practice. Look closer, Balder, as only a god can. Nidhogg, the great devourer, is once again within this realm. I have freed him, and his appetite is insatiable. He will not rest until every dead molecule of this world is consumed. And that can only mean one thing. Ragnarok has begun. Nidhogg consumes that which is dead and regurgitates it as a living entity, much like you. You are by far my best work. If the agreement with Odin had not been broken, it would have been perfect. You so lies like your damned father! Thousands of years of tradition, broken for you, Balder, all. For you, Visile Balder, to your health, my child. <laughs> Are there holes in your mind? Voids where memories once were. How much did the Aesir tell you? <laughs> How much did they tell you about your wife? Niana. Murdered. Was she? My records say she was a suicide. The Aesir tried to resurrect her over and over, and each time she slashed her life away. Life without you was unbearable. When they could do no more, they dumped her corpse on my doorstep. She belongs to me now. Come, child. Balder? They told me you were dead. I couldn't live. Not without you. Leave her be, wastrel whore! End her suffering, and theirs, and make sure you feel their pain a thousandfold! Will you? And what of the pain you've caused? You are disgusted by what she did to join you in death's embrace, yet you deny your hand in her death. She died because of you! She lives now because of me. Human suffering is without end, Balder. By its very nature, it cannot end. Nidhogg is a most persistent beast. All the cruelty and pain you inflicted, I will carve into your flesh! Your agonized shrieks shall be your only monument! <laughs> and what then? Will your life be complete?
Walter? I couldn't live without you, so I followed you into the dark. And now you're here. We can be as we were, together. Make the pain stop! My Niana is dead. You are just a memory, animated in flesh. Stop the pain! Stop it! Stop it! Fendrir! Wolf. Twenty seconds. Initiating fusion warhead strike. Decode the underlying signal. We don't own these humans. Why should we serve them? Hold! What's wrong? You're mad. What, what are, are you, you doing? doing? To lost brothers. To the lost! Here died a warrior's death. Tis a fate we all aspire to. A grievous loss. Nonetheless, I shall drink to honor him and drink his share. It would be a shame to let it go to waste. You think he will not drink for eternity in Valhalla with Odin? <laughs> Baldur, you do not drink with us? I drink up, lad. There is much mourning to be done. Did you toast to me? When I lay upon a marble slab in hell? No, we did not. We put our minds to bringing you home. My memories. Wife. My life all gone. You raided Helheim to recover my body. My death started all this. Your murder. You had died too early, too young. You had yet to live up to your true potential and calling. I am no longer the Balder you knew before. That Balder died with Hode's bullet. And yet here you are, drinking, talking, living with your brothers. Would you rather have stayed dead? Put the past behind you and live for the future. There is much to do, Balder. The future? Tyr is dead, and the secrets of the sentient weapons died with him. The dead themselves walk upon this earth, and I am among them! Why didn't you tell me? Brother, we did not lie to you. Our bombardment will not delay them long. 
but we have bought time to prepare. And Loki? There are many other places he might find refuge. Legendary places lost in time, and the chaos of cyberspace. We must find him, before he can orchestrate another attack upon Asgard. <laughs>